What up folks, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, where we are playing as the USA and we are just beginning to get ourselves ready for war. So I was playing another uh, Germany game earlier and I had a lot of problems with getting supplies in North Africa. It's like no matter what I did, even when supplies were coming through from this way, there was no supplies getting over here and every army I had in this area got was killing me with supplies. It doesn't make any sense. Because I had conquered France, and, and I wonder if I'm going to have that same problem here. I really hope not, because I have no idea what to do, because I was getting nothing. Even even when supplies were coming from a good port. It was after I'd conquered United Kingdom. I don't know, it makes no... The supply system in this fucking game is so mysterious. Nothing ever makes any sense, ever. Uh, we're gonna see. We're just gonna try to see what we can do. That's another army. We got four cores here. We're just getting ready to getting ready to get ready. See if we can do anything with our technology. We're gonna want that. Supply, supply, repair. Yeah, that's good. just going to let those go up and whenever some more of these uh, get out of date I'll just exit them out and it'll make these get a good chance of starting to do what they gotta do alright I have a good I have a good fleet I don't need to make any more ships except for these guys which I am I'm making more fleets for the west coast I think I think that's what I'm doing maybe in fact, I don't even remember why I'm making more ships. Probably because I have something going on. Yeah, I have a battleship. And I wanted to fill this fleet out. That's probably what I wanted to do. Still not sure on what the air stuff is all about. I'm not sure what the, comp the composition of my air fleets need to be. I need to build more, more transport. Um, more, um, more air, air boys, more transport planes and whatnot. God fucking damn it, can't do any more. So I just need to wait till that, all that junk is done. Alright. Infantry anti-tank. Let's take that off. We are nowhere near getting a nuclear bomb. Nuclear civil research. Ah, uh, nuclear research. Gotta get that. Human wave, yes, that will help us a lot. Oh, we can't do nuclear research, it's too far ahead, huh? People's army. Yeah, we need to, like, wait another year, probably. Yeah, just let that fly by, okay. We're getting close to 38, and I think 38 is when stuff starts happening. And we can just watch Germany take over shit while we're still preparing. We're not gonna be ready for a while. Not for another at least two years. Because we need to build this army to full capacity, and we need to build this army to full capacity. I could probably do the western stuff with just one army though. But this isn't a full army, I need a full army. One full army? I could probably deal. Because we just uh, build a lot of garrison units. We need to build a lot of garrison units to garrison all these islands. Take over all the islands from the Japanese. Uh, keep our main army st uh, stationed in the Philippines until we're ready to strike Japan. We take over all these islands bit by bit. And then we start moving in to conquer southern Japan. And then move up. They won't have a whole lot of troops. Most of their army is in China. Although we will have to invade China at some point because 
they will not be defeated after we take Japan, but they will be weakened. So we're gonna have to invade China at some point and try to get more victory point, victory uh, point cities from them. Because the more of these they have, the more difficult it's, it's gonna be to bring them down. I don't think I can defeat Germany until, until I at least get to Berlin. I don't remember how long it was, but I stalled in like in the middle of Germany for a long time. I somehow, I might have had to have taken all of Germany. I'm not sure because they, once Germany starts conquering that stuff, they get a lot of more victory points cities, victory point cities. I might hit need to even go into uh, Poland, free some places from Poland before I can truly defeat the Germans. Italy's not in the Axis yet, so. That's good for now, but they will eventually be in, in it. Alright, 38 has come. Anything I can do here? Um, let's disrupt the research, I guess. I'm not sure what military espionage does. It doesn't really tell me what it does. It focuses on the enemy's military. But that doesn't tell me anything. I wish there was a way to find out where an army is being uh, is being supplied from. Like, if Germany is in North Africa, I wish I was uh, able to tell from what port they're being supplied from. Okay, we got some armor over here. Good. I got the second. No, no, we want to do the other one. The Liberation Army. Okay, we got five cores, so we're beginning to build more. I need some goddamn Marines. I don't have any Marines. How far am I from making some Marines? Ooh, I need to make them right now. Cannot forget about my Marines. The Marines. Ooh, we're gonna need that desert warfare. Mountain warfare. Airborne. Don't really need to worry about Arctic right now. What do you got? Airborne warfare is three... Three years ahead. Shit. Alright. More. Allows construction of mountain men. Nice. Where are you? And I still can't build anything great. Fantastic. Super. I need, I need to just wait until all these ships are done. Second army, third core. Core. All right. That core is not done yet. Probably just need one army to take all of this and all Japan and all the islands, but I'll need at least two to deal with China, if not a hell of a lot more than that. Because it, I know taking Japan will severely weaken them, at the very least. Whoa. Alright. Ah, oh, units with poor supply are great. Fantastic. They're always in support. Someone's always in poor supply for no reason because the supply system is an absolute mystery. But I don't want to just play without the supply system. I feel. I feel shitty for not playing without. There's an option where you don't have to play with the supply system. But then I feel. I feel shitty and I feel like I'm not doing the game right if I use. if I do that. So I've never played without it. Even though I should, probably should. It'd probably be more fun if I did. Uh, okay, let's prepare. Rigged elections. Uh. Prepare a speech. 
Mm, boy, come on. Can't do a damn thing. Education, three years ahead in research. Ah, destroyers. Destroyers, destroyer of worlds. Let's uh, delete you, I don't really need you. Here we go. That fleet is on its way to being a good fleet. Alright. We could probably put two more destroyers in there. Oh, no. Probably just uh, leave it like that, I guess. Even though I don't like those odd numbers. We'll see. We'll see how the next one does it. I probably can't make any more men because of our manpower. That's probably it. The New Deal. To your army. Ooh, how do we get in this? We need... Our neutrality needs to be better. We have crappy manpower. That's probably why I can't make any more soldiers. Oh, we have a lot of crappy laws. We need to fix that as soon as we can. Raise unity. It's nothing to... Says we can't raise... Nothing to raise our, uh... Our whatchamacallit... Uh, neutrality shit. And I can't declare war on anybody, of course. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can I join the faction? No. We are influenced. We are being influenced. We will soon be joining the faction. Uh oh! They have annexed Austria. They're now part of the country. And now shit is starting to go down. Bit by bit, Germany will take more. Teacher, teacher! I will require the little Polish boy's desk. As well. <laughs> little Hitler, such a scamp! Got ourselves some guys on our transport boats. Uh, all right, just things are going well. Things are going just fine. Not really any war going on. Just all dibbly dabbly do. Teacher, teacher, I do not have enough room. I shall require the Czechoslovakian's desk as well. <laughs> Lil Hitler, what happened to the Polish boy? Uh, Lil Hitler, such scamp. Always having fun. It's a robot chicken bit. You guys need to look up Lil Hitler, robot chicken. That shit is hilarious. Lil Hitler. And, and the last one, the teacher comes into the room and says, as a, what the heck is going on here? Because little Hitler has all the desks surrounded. He has all the little boy's desks all around him. And the American kid is over in the corner, is like sipping on some drink. He's like, ah, not my problem. Then the little Japanese kid comes and pushes the drink on the American kid's chest. He's like, ah, now it's my problem. <laughs> that was hilarious. I'll watch that skit a million times. Alright, spearhead. We're getting a lot of tech going up. 
We got the tech, tech, nine technology. If I wanna know when I'm on the main, we got a tech, tech, nine technology. Oh, we're never gonna be able to clear warn any of those guys. We need Z Marines. May 21st. But we still don't have enough manpower. We need to build a lot more manpower. Hopefully I can get better laws soon. But I think that only happens when we, um... When Germany does more stuff, when they get more aggressive. Okay, got another armored division. Sends you to the west side. The best side. Even though I've never been to the west side. But it still the best side. The west side is always the best side, yes. The armies are converging. The people don't want it, but Franklin Delano Roosevelt knows. Something is brewing, so we must be ready. We must be ready. Hmm. Looking at this map, I don't know why... Oh. Alright. I don't know why uh, Poland had this little bit either. I don't know why Poland had this little bit or I don't know why Germany had this little bit. Why is Germany cut off like that? I, you would understand why Germany would be pissed off about that. There's just a piece of their country is being cut off. That doesn't make it that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I, I don't know the history behind it, but should be connected. I don't like thing, things that aren't connected. It's my OCD. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, come on, boys. Alright, got another one of these guys. See if we can... Ooh, that's 11. Light cruiser. Alright, let's just keep you like that. Alright, look at that big old fleet we got going on. Big ol' fleety fleety. Alright, light cruiser, light cruiser, destroyer, destroyer. Make some battle cruisers. Why not? Battle cruisers for everyone. Uh, don't have the the manpower, I suppose. The manpower went down. I wonder if that's because... I didn't think uh, ships took up manpower, but I guess they do. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a long time before we can build our real army. Because we need paratroopers and... And marines for my plans, for what I plan to do. We're gonna need the marines definitely to take the islands. And to take Japan. Marines will also be useful in uh, Europe, but more so. Ooh, the Annex National China. But more so, we will need. Look at that shit. Japan conquering. We will need the paratroopers to uh, swing in in some, in some back strikes and just quickly encircle the enemy in some, in some areas. We'll need to get control of a lot of paratroopers. Hopefully encircle and kill a whole bunch of enemy troops. Let's put you here. Third core is finished. They're done. They're done. Alright. The cores over there are finished. Not really, I need like crap well I need to fill this whole army up. 
before I feel safe enough to go out for an invasion of of the the Pacific. I need a lot more garrisons. Uh, let's just wait. Wait till we get our better laws to get us a crap load more manpower. Uh, Canada, Canada is never that much of a help. Whenever Canada invaded uh, Europe in my Germany playthroughs, they never really sent that many troops. Of course, uh, the area they would invade, sometimes Americans and British would go into that area and help them out, but they never, the Canadians themselves never send that many troops. Well, I guess that's like in real life, they all work together to fight. So that makes sense, I guess. But mostly it's the Americans and the United Kingdom that send in a lot of troops into these areas to try to invade. But... When I played as America last time, United Kingdom barely helped me at all. They didn't really do a... They didn't do a whole lot. Spearhead Doctrine. Great. I don't know. Things are looking... Things are slow at the moment. It's gonna be a while. I will see what happens next time. I'm your Graphics Rogue, and I will see you next time. Peace.